What's up, homies? Welcome back to another comic book review of the Invincible Tie-In Universe. This is Heroes Reforged. You know the drill. All 48 of you that are watching this are still in it. You're back. Tech Y'all are jacket. my favorite. We're doing this. Y'all are my favorite. We get higher views on some of the higher volumes of Invincible. I think people are reading, reading along with the main series, and I think they've mm -hmm. been excited about some of the big things that have been happening in the comics, the Viltrumite War, Conquest, all that stuff. But... Today we are reading Tech Jacket, Volume 2. Dose. This is Liftoff. Tech Jacket, Volume 2, Liftoff. And uh, I have never read it. Adam's never read it. Augustine's never read it. We're going to jump right in. I read it a few weeks ago. I kind of forgot <laughs> some of what happens in it. <laughs> okay, okay. So we're going to get to somebody who's real fresh on it. Adam, what were your overall thoughts? Tech Jacket, Volume 2. Just to remind everybody, too. We read a volume of Invincible that set something up for Tech Jacket, and then we kind of went back, and I think we are all in agreement this takes place before the Invincible volume that we had just read, yes. correct? Like, yes. before he goes out into space with Mark and the gang mm -hmm. in the Funky mm -hmm. Bunch, he before is... Before the Viltrumite War, yes. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. So, Liftoff, Tech Jacket, Volume 2, Zach Thompson, go at him. <laughs> it, was, it was good. It kind of felt like it was trying to be Invincible, if that makes sense. Oh, interesting. You know, like how so? It's, how so? It, I, Explain. I, I just felt like it was trying to kind of rehash stuff that we've have already talked about or have done in an Invincible comic book, whether it was mm -hmm. Mark and Amber or Mark and um, Adam Eve. Mm -hmm. You know, it feels like it's already kind of been charted territory. So there wasn't really nothing surprising about it. And he's trying to help the Geldarians sort of like find a place to call home temporarily. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of echoes of the Invincible story. So I, 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 I can't say that there was anything in this book that really surprised me or shocked me or was super intriguing. But I do like the character Tech Jacket enough that I enjoy seeing a little bit more into his life. Because even though despite him, him having a similar type of story like invincible the power set's completely different the background for how he gets his powers is completely different you know tech jacket is an alien piece of hardware that that his that dad's he, not a piece of shit yeah exactly yeah. so so there's like similarities <laughs> but there are big differences as well so i enjoyed yeah. for that but um yeah it very much just kind of echoed invincible stories that we've already read but mm -hmm. that doesn't mean that it wasn't good it was still good uh, it just didn't really give me anything new necessarily to, to latch new. to latch on yeah. to necessarily yeah and and That's honestly it. my my overall review is i agree with you adam i think that it 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 is not as exciting or as interesting as invincible um but i kind of enjoy it maybe more than like the the back half of wolfman i mm -hmm. think it's real zippy it's a fun read i always enjoy yeah. reading the two volumes of check tech jacket that we've read so far so i enjoy it i enjoy the characters question for you augustine the last invincible volume that we read had a moment mm -hmm. with Zach Thompson where he's about to, uh, you know, um, have uh, some relations with an alien lady. <laughs> and Alan the alien is like, oh, no. Like he walks in on him and he goes, no, it's okay. Right. My girlfriend and I have this arrangement. Like it's okay. It's like uh -huh. a, it's like an open uh -huh. thing. He's in an open this relationship. Book, this book fills in that backstory that we didn't know. Yeah. Um, what did you make of that element? And then what do you think of the book overall? Listen, I, I appreciate giving the the character, I think this really gives the character of Zach some depth because he's not the type of dude who's like, oh, well, we can't, we can't, we can't do the hanky panky as they say in this book, which is so lame. I hate that term, by the way, uh, such a lame term. Just get uh, but your basically, wet. Yeah. <laughs> wet your yeah. whistle, Zach. Basically, yeah. even though he couldn't take that relationship to that level, he was still willing to like work with Lynn and, and, you know, still see her as somebody that he loves and they still move along. And I think that really speaks volumes about not just, not just Zach in the book, but anybody who can be in that kind of relationship where there's such a, uh, what some people might find a fundamental error or a fundamental difference in something and, and still push through that and find what you really care about in a relationship. So I think that speaks tons about both of these characters. Uh, yeah. Did that give me enough to like really want to dive into volume three? Not yet. But yeah. I do feel like they're taking Tech Jacket in a good direction. I really, once again, I'm always going to be the dude who talks about the art. 
after yeah. chapter two, the art really just ramps up. Yeah. Like it's just mm. really cool. It feels like an anime. Like the violence is graphic. The the shots where he's all bloodied up and still fighting. What's the villain's name? Um Noel. No. Oh yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> I was gonna say well, I don't remember. And then you said it, and I'm like, yep, that's the one. They, they just said it once and I remember in my head I was like, Oh, is this where they got the name Noel from Marvel <laughs> the Comics? Matrix, or Marvel Comics, yeah. Yeah, yeah Marvel right. Comics. Right. So uh I I do think they did present some really cool action scenes. Uh the villain was, you know, pretty threatening, pretty scary. I did feel a sense of danger when he came around. Um, but this the comic was still very much middle of the road, although you're right, Hector. I do like it better than a lot of or the second half of of mm -hmm. a Wolfman for sure. And, de and definitely better than Capes. Of, definitely better than Cape. Well, actually, when when you <laughs> when you say that, like I think back on Capes as like um almost like at the beginning of Invincible where everything was kind of yeah. innocent and like, you know, there rough wasn't this, the edges. The end yeah, the end of the world wasn't necessarily on everybody's mind and just like mm. it was a it was a simpler time back when the capes were around. But All right. uh this one this one's cool. Um I still more than anything love the design of Tech Jacket. The character de the character design is cool. All these characters are great. Yep. Um yep. but yeah, I feel like there's nothing pushing me towards the next one at this point. I wanna I wanna dive back deep into Invincible at this point. Nah. Like yeah. deep, deep, deep. Well, then I've got good news for you, Augustine, because the next comic that we're reading is... Volume 15. Guarding the Globe, Volume 1. <laughs> yes, it's the other spinoff involving Brit and all of the Earth-based superheroes in the Invincible Universe. What are they doing while Mark is gone? That's what this comic book is about. I've never I read see. it. I'm extremely in the excited. months when, that when, he's gone. Yeah, when Invincible is out in space fighting the Viltrumite War, Ooh. Brit has to recruit a new international... Guardians of the Globe roster to protect Earth in his absence. Things come together just in time to battle a new organization of villains called The Order. So there is Guarding the Globe. Oh, interesting. Volume one, okay. Under Siege is what it's called. That's what we're reading next. And then I'm pretty sure after that we're going to get back into Invincible. But don't, uh -huh. don't, quote, don't quote me on that. Don't take my word for that. I need to double check the timeline. But that's what we're reading next. Okay, um, okay cool. Tech Jacket was fun. And now we're caught up to the timeline, except we're going to go back a little bit. Those 10 months, you're right, you mm -hmm, guys, you're mm -hmm. right. What was going down on Earth? Maybe we'll get some backstory for what happened with Eve. So I'm excited to read because Guarding the Globe. Yeah, she because was very different. Adam doesn't know. Very Adam different. doesn't know. Yeah, Adam doesn't yeah, yeah, know yeah, yeah, what yeah. happened, but we do. So we're going to read Guarding the Globe. And for everybody watching right now, please do me a favor. In the comments below, let us know what you thought of Tech Jacket. Let us know how you're digging the Invincible comic series. Appreciate you sticking with us. We're a little bit behind, but we're working on a bunch of other stuff, including constantly updating our patreon with uncut reactions to marvel's what if we've got some star wars visions coming down the line here pretty soon i'm talking star wars plus anime it's gonna be awesome uh and uh yeah tons of tons of other stuff so check out the patreon uh look out for more youtube cut downs of uh various things that we've reacted to in the past it's all coming we're all working on it plus some other uh podcasty projects that are in the works so stay mm. tuned Tell your friends. Be sure that you've hit the bell to get notifications for when the videos drop. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.